Okay, let's say we're happy with that one here. And we would like to paint some texture now. From here, paint tools. Go here to paint, create new layer. Here you choose the size of the layer. 2048 is probably a good size. Diffuse. All right. It will be created in a second. Get the first brush, for instance. Look at that color. And now you just start painting. Maybe this is, let's take some. You just start painting over your model. Basically like this. Other tools do different stuff like let's say projection will need to work with the stencil. So you go to the image browser. We got a folder called Mudbox. Textures Mudbox. Yeah. Choose. Just press this one here, this button. That this means that you are going to use it as a, as a stencil. So S. Go back to your 3D view. Pressing Q will make the texture appear and disappear. So uh, the thing is that having the texture like this and painting on top of it. It will project the texture over your model. See? The texture is already on the chest. Get a bigger brush, because you make more basic texture now. Rotate your model. Another thing you can do is by going here, mesh, and say flatten to UV space. What happened now, let me just remove this, is that um, here is your mesh. It's now flattened. Pressing Q, here's your texture, and you can quickly paint. Something like this. Let's also put it on the face. Yeah. It looks like we painted all. Oh, then we go back to mesh and flatten. Pressing A will uh, make your um, model appear from where it used to be to the middle of the screen. When you go here on projection, depending on what color you choose, if you choose red color, um, it will draw your texture with a different color
here. Uh, let's create a new painting layer. We have uh, skin one, let's call it. Now we have uh, painted the basic of our mesh. If you use this one here, paint erase, you can delete now. We can go back to sculpting. 